I've been on top for a while. Nasty chip to the moon. Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Tuesday. I'm super tired. I'm on my way home. I just worked half the day and I had to go home and do a meeting and work a little more. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm tired. I'm so tired. I gotta eat too. It's taking it's my lunch break. But I use it to go home and then I'll eat lunch when I get home. My husband's making me some breakfast for lunch. So at least I'll have food when I get home, but I'm tired. It's been an early day for me. I've been up since 6 30. It may not be early to some people, but that's early to me. I was up at 6 30. Out of the house by 7 10. I left about 7 10. And it's noon. 12, it's about 12 30 right now. So the meeting starts at 12 55. I'm about 10 minutes from my house. So I gotta rush, not rush, but I gotta basically get in, get my plate. Because I told y'all my husband's making me breakfast. And then I gotta get online to do this meeting. And then I pretty much can chill the rest of the day. Driving home. It's Fee and it is Wednesday. I have not vlogged all day, but I just got back in the house. I had went to the gym, then I went to Target after I left the gym. On my way back home, I tried to get gas, and guess what? Everybody and their mama was getting gas, so I couldn't get none. So now I'm back in the house. My car has like nine miles left on it. So I'm gonna try to get gas tomorrow when people are at work, but I'll I'll see. Cause I gotta work myself. So I'll see if I'll be able to do that while people are still at work. But everybody and their mama buying up all the gas. For what? For why? Why are you buying up all the gas? When I tell you, there is a couple gas stations near me. I live in a DMV. There's hella gas stations. I went to the one gas station I always go to, there's a line before you even get into the gas station. So I was like, cool, I'm gonna try Exxon. Drive to Exxon. There's a line trying to get to Exxon. I'm like, all right, cool. There's a Wawa nearby. Let me go to Wawa. A line. The line was worse, which I should have known because on a regular day, that line's the worst. I usually go to Shell, but I don't know. Everybody was buying up all the gas. So, I ain't got no gas. But I'm about to open the stuff that I just got from Target. Um, I really just wanted to get a few things food-wise. And then I got some toothpaste, some spray. But I'll just show y'all. I got some snacks, some snacky snacks. I got this. Just to have, like, some snacks in the house. Because sometimes we just like snacks. Snacks. I think I'm gonna put these down here because ain't no room up there. All right, and then I'm gonna show y'all my my sheeting clothes came, and I'm gonna show you what I got from the store. So I really didn't get much. I got some cheese to make salads. We usually make salads at home and I got some cheese just for that. Damn. And then I got some spinach, some baby spinach. It looks like this. I got baby spinach to put. using our salad i'm gonna chop up this lettuce that i got i think i'm gonna make this salad tomorrow but i'm gonna chop up this lettuce that i got mix it with the baby spinach and that's usually what we do for salad mix it i got some chicken breast and some chicken tenderloins and I'm gonna leave the chicken breast 
out because um, I think I think what am I saying? <laughs> I'm gonna leave the tenderloins out because I'm gonna make salad probably. I'll make the salad probably tomorrow. And I might just leave the tenderloins out too. I really don't know why I got chicken breast and then got tender tenderloins. I don't know. Because I might end up making both of them at the same time for the um, salad. And then I got some shrimps. Some shrimps. Some shrimps. I need to organize my fridge. It looks a mess. It's just it's messy and it's stuff piled everywhere. And that's because we have a small we have a small freezer. We have a small freezer. We have a small fridge. caramel cashew mix if you know you know we eat the shit out this caramel cashew mix and like when i say we ate the last one in like two or three days and look how much is in here look how much is in here like this is a lot like no nobody should be eating that much but we did look at the nutrition packs and I still ate it. I still ate it. Then I also got me some of this. Yep. I never had this flavor before, but I'm gonna try it out. Let me see if I can open it properly. I get I'm acting like that's the only thing I have a whole nother two bags let me do the cold stuff first I also got some creamer I got this this is the creamer that we use sometimes um, not always but and then I got this. I tried the almond milk one, but they didn't have any in stock, so I got this one. A little bit of a higher calorie than the other one, but it's okay. I stopped putting sugar in my coffee and just put cream, so it should be alright. I got some more Febreze Heavy Duty. These sprays work wonders, especially when the bathroom stank. Spray. And then I got some more toothpaste, the Crest Gum Restore. It's just toothpaste. I think they honestly do the same thing. They just keep making different brands to appeal to people, but they do the same thing. All right. Then I got this. Sometimes, I, obviously, I know how to make chicken alfredo, but sometimes I get these frozen meals specifically because I don't feel like cooking. Like, it saves me time from cooking. So, I don't care. And I got, what else? And I also got, don't judge me, I still eat 
shit like this and this because it's quick it's quick it's quick and then eventually i need to get some more waffles because we eat waffles a lot when we make breakfast so get some more of that so that's those two bags I have one more because I got eggs and I got some um, health aid. I was drinking one in the car and I think it got a little warm. So I'm about to put it back in the fridge. Duh. Okay. So yeah, the last thing I got from Target is just some eggs and... I didn't realize we still had a lot of eggs left. I wouldn't have gotten them because they're cheaper at Aldi. So, yeah, this is the one I was drinking, the Health Aid. I really like this one. It's the Bubbly Rose. I do not buy this often. They're too expensive. But I got one because I was really thirsty and I hadn't had them in a while. So, I just got a couple and they had no coupons, so I had to pay full price. Okay. So I'm putting those away. And then I think that's it. Yeah, that's all I got from the store, but I'm gonna show you what I got from Shein in a moment. So let me get started on making dinner. I'm just gonna put that chicken Alfredo on the stove and then I'm gonna show you what I got from Shein. I'm not gonna try anything on just because, like I said, I came from back from the gym. And I also spray the clothes before I wear them, so. So this is the stuff I got from Shein. Um, I got some jewelry pieces here, mostly gold, and one pack of silver. It's two bracelets. I think. I don't know. Then I got two pairs of shoes. Shoes, y'all! I was really excited about getting these shoes. I don't know why. It's because they're square. I've never had any square like shoes and I thought they looked nice. Let's put them on real quick and know y'all can't see my feet. Oh, these are so cute. And they definitely fit. Let me see. Y'all see my foot? I'm not showing my toes. So these are definitely a keep. these out the way put these other pair of shoes that I got hold on I got these these are just some basic flats that I got because I needed some more basic flats to wear to work more so than anything and that's why i got them but they look like this about to try these on and they fit they're just nude new shoes all right the next thing I got is a set. I got a set. This is the top. Hold on. This is the top. It's just like a crop top and then it comes with matching bottoms. Real cute. And my husband is gonna be like, uh -huh. no, no ma'am. He gonna be like, no ma'am. 
And then I always love these little bags that Shein gets. The bags are really nice. The next thing I got is like a basic bodysuit. It's very, very standard. You know, it's nice. I got some more sweatpants. They're just really like basic sweatpants. Wait, these don't really. Oh, these aren't as thick in the around the ankle as my other ones, but. Another set with bottoms and a brown t-shirt, which I thought would have been really cute. I really can't wait to wear this with like some Air Forces or something, but I like this. Okay, the next thing I got, this is a cropped, a crop top basic crop top i try to throw in some colors so i got a purple one this time but yeah and i got what else did i get oh i do not be knowing what i be getting from the store sometimes i oh yeah i got a like a a bodycon dress i wanted it to be a little long it's not too long, but it's brown. So it looks like this top, bottom. And then last two things. I'm going to hang this stuff up later. Oh yeah, I got another um, one of those jumpsuits. I already had a brown one, but I wanted the black one originally, or a black one originally, and they didn't send me one because they had ran out of stock. But send me one. I bought these, and so last time they didn't have any brown ones, so I bought a black one. And the last thing. I don't even have the oh, What is this? Oh, yeah, it's a dress. I forgot I got a dress. Oh, I forgot. So it's one of those dresses that kind of shrivels on the side. Hmm, the material is very different than I thought it was going to be. Hmm, I like that. So that's all I got. I'm probably going to just eat, finish cooking, eat, shower, and chill for the rest of the night. So I don't know if I'm going to check back in. If I don't, see y'all tomorrow. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I am in the car. I'm driving to TJ Maxx. I'm going to TJ Maxx and I'm going to Ikea a little later. Hopefully I feel like going to Ikea. I need to get, I'm trying to set up my little vanity little area in my room i've never had a vanity before but i'm gonna like i'm not gonna buy a vanity itself i'm just buying a table from ikea and then i'm putting it on the side of the bed i looked at some pictures off pinterest to kind of get an idea of how i wanted to set it up but basically i'm gonna have a table next to my bed instead of having an end table and then i'm gonna have my makeup on top of it i might add a uh thinking about where i should place a light there's a light in our room and it's like above our bed and it's really bright so we really don't need an extra light in our room because our room is really bright with just that light because i changed all the bulbs but right now i just want to get a table mainly not a chair yet i don't know what kind of chair i would get 
but I, I want to have a table so I can start organizing my stuff. And then I want to get one of those white drawers. You've probably seen it. It's very popular at Ikea. They, I can insert a photo, but it's those white drawers um, that you see people use to organize their makeup. Or I've seen it on desks, like on desks to organize. For TJ Maxx, I'm really looking for like bathroom stuff. Our, our main bathroom that's in our bedroom is kind of good. I showed y'all. I, I showed y'all what that looks like and how I set it up. But I want to get some stuff for our other bathroom because right now it's looking real raggedy. And it just looks like I, shit was thrown in there. So I want to get some stuff for that bathroom. And what else? I mean, that's really it. I'm not trying to spend a lot of money in the store. I really have very specific stuff I want to get and I'm trying to limit it to that. I'm not going to Target. I'm not even going to try to go to Target because every time I go to Target, I want to buy a bunch of stuff I don't need. But if I do go to Target, it's because I didn't find what I needed out of TJ Maxx. Or I should try Home Goods. Maybe I'll go to Home Goods after Target. I mean, after TJ Maxx, I'll try home goods and see if I can find something in there but that's what I'm doing right now this person in front of me is driving like they got molasses in their ass hey y'all so I'm back in the car I was walking out of the store and the girl there had asked me um she said what's some advice I would give somebody who's new to the natural hair community and at first I didn't really know I mean it's been a long time since I've been natural but the advice I gave her is do not slick your hair up too tight. This that I have in my hair right now is very loose. It's loose. I'm using one hair tie loose. When I say slick it tight, I mean don't take them strings and pull it as tight as you can and then do your baby hairs every day. I remember I did that every day probably for like two years and it pulled out my edges. Like even now, my edges are a little thinner than they used to be and they have never fully grown back. And I've been trying hard to get them to grow back, but they're definitely, they've definitely thinned out. They have most definitely thinned out. So that's my advice. And to anyone watching this video, my, that's my same advice I would give you. Do not slick your hair up so much. Don't slick it up so much. Find different styles. Do styles that, do protective styles that hold your hair in place but don't slick it up so much and then let your hair breathe take you know wear a do protective style that does not pull on your edges again that does not pull on your edges and then let your hair breathe for a little bit because doing a bunch of protective styles all the time turns out to be not as protective as you think so yeah do not pull your hair up so much even though i have my hair up right now I haven't worn my hair up like this in over a month it's been over a month i'm about to go to i don't know where i'm going actually i wanted to get something to eat but then i'm like do i need to spend money on food but starbucks is also right here so i think i'm just gonna go to starbucks either way i don't need none of these things i don't need starbucks i don't need chick-fil-a I don't need none of it, but I'm about to stop anyway. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. We'll find your food tonight. Hi, can I get a grande caramel ribbon crunch frappuccino? Anything else for today? No, that's it. For the box, please have it at the window. Thank you. It's just 
out of respect really for the workers. Sitting in front of me, take that all day. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you too. I got my caramel ribbon crunch. Frappuccino that I ain't need. They got too much sugar in it. I'm not one of them girls who come here and be like, can I get an almond whatever? Or oat milk whatever? No, we just get frappuccino and call it a day. And honestly, I didn't need it, but I, we drinking it. We drinking it. Even though they took long to make it. Look at it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So I'm about to go. I guess I'm going to Ikea next. I really want to figure out what I'm going to eat for dinner. It's 4 o'clock and I'm hungry. And I want something good. I have a taste for like Jamaican food or something. These two containers in here from my, that I got from my Ikea, I'm going to show y'all. I'm probably going to record myself putting them together, but this shit is heavy. All I got is this little dolly, which doesn't hold that much, but all I did was lay like the box on it, and I brought it inside. Whew, I got to go get the other one. The other one's lighter, so it should be easier to grab. 
So I'm gonna go grab that real quick. And yeah. Got this one. This one is, this is the table. Oh wait, the thing that's heavy is the little, the white drawers. The table's not as heavy, that's weird. Woo, I need a breather. <laughs> yes, but this, let me show y'all real quick. This shit is heavy. And shit is heavy. The one that's not heavy, not as heavy as this one. It's not this one. This one's 34 pounds. This one is does it say it on the side? This is 59 pounds. This one's 59. This one's 34 pounds. That's why. That's why it's so heavy. That one's 59 pounds. But yeah, I'm back home. I'm going to set up my camera so I can record myself putting this shit together. If it looks too difficult, I'm not even going to say that. I'm going to put it together. I usually put stuff like this together. It doesn't bother me doing it. But sometimes my husband likes to do it or he likes to help just so I don't have to do it. But I know how to do it. Just got to take my time to put on a nice show and take my time to do it. Just to show y'all, this is what the side of my bed looks like right now. Like, this is what I sleep on the side. But right now I have this end table, which I wanna put in the office as more place to store, you know, things. I'm gonna set it up somewhere in the office. But I wanna put the white table over here and set it up there. This makeup will, and that, that's perfume. That should be stored in the table and the drawers that I got. Some of this stuff will be in the drawers, but this is all hair stuff and I eventually want to put this under the bathroom sink, but I have not bought the things to organize for that yet. I'll get it, but I'm, I work. I, you know, I'm not, I stay at home. I can sit here and go to the store and buy stuff every day. I work, we got bills to pay and I just can't buy everything at the same time. So I am going to be decorating and organizing my stuff very slow. And some of this stuff, like we don't even plan to stay in this apartment that long. Really, we want to do one lease and then we want to buy a home next year. And the stuff that I do get here is stuff that I can see me using in our home that we'll get eventually. So that's why I'm okay with buying some stuff like I know how I want my desk set up and all that. So yeah, that's why I bought it. We do want to get rid of this though. This TV stand, it gotta go. So we want to get rid of that. It's too bulky, too big. We want to put the TV on the wall and then I want to get like maybe a white TV stand just to brighten up the room because we have this dark bed frame i want to buy a new blanket i want to put a new like white i want to get new sheets white sheets and then i want like a cream cover on top then i want to incorporate like some lighter shade of brown like a camel or something just to brighten up the room because the color in here is really bright but it's like we need yeah we just need some stuff to liven it up I'll just make it look a little better but what we how we have it now is working it works because we both work anyway so we'll get it together it's just getting going real slow
So, so far I've done, created this little piece, but now I'm on this part where I have to make the, like put the actual desk together. So I need this piece. I just made this little piece right here. Um, yeah. Okay, so I put this in the corner. Now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if I have enough space for this. Um, it's this joint is heavy, but I don't know if I have enough room for this in the corner over here. I'm gonna go ahead and put like my stuff that's on the floor over there. I'm gonna put it away and see how it looks without this. If it looks okay. I'm just gonna use this in my office because the desk I want, it actually requires this piece along with the top piece. And so if this, um, if, the, if I don't need it over there, I'm just gonna add this to my desk. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and organize this to see what it's, what it's looking like. I put my makeup up there. I don't even know what I'm gonna put. I don't know what I'm gonna put inside of it, but I like it. So looking at this, I'm not leaving it like this. I actually want, I had a little vanity like type mirror. I had one, but I accidentally broke it. So I'm gonna have to get another one, but it's gonna go right here. And so I'm thinking I'm really gonna need those cubbies. I'm gonna need it. So I'm just gonna see what it looks like when I put it together, when I put that together and then how I can like put it. One thing I could do too is to move the bed over a little bit because I have a drawer right here and I have to pull out right there. I have to leave this open. So, yeah, I'll just see what it looks like when I put it all together. Another option, I have this corner. If it's not enough room in that corner, I can um, put this over here and then maybe I'll have more room right here. Especially since I don't have to worry about blocking anything off on this side. So that's another option if this this doesn't work. But I really could try moving the bed over and see how that looks. Yeah, that's really it for tonight. I don't know if I'm going to put together the other piece tonight. I'm a little tired and I kind of want to chill. So if I do, I'll record it. If I don't, I'll just do it tomorrow and record it then. 
and then show y'all where I put it. So I will see you either when I'm putting that together or I'll see you tomorrow on Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. We're walking to the gym. Say hi. He's ugly. Or we're walking to the gym. <laughs> He's not ugly. Right? I keep looking around to see if I'm going to see a cicada. <laughs> you heard me? Yeah. Because I really don't want to see it. Yeah, I know, because it's flat. It ain't that many to make right now. pool again. Brush the air. I ain't know it's going in this way. Why don't we scan it when I want to scan? You still could. Look at the pool. Look at the pool. Okay. I thought it was too, but I wasn't sure. Got to get in there. I know. I'm Hey, so I'm back at home. I am putting this, I'm about to start putting in this, these drawers together. It's the one I was talking about yesterday. I'm gonna open it and then just put it together. My table is right there. I'm hoping to put the drawers right in this little space right here. So hopefully that's enough space. I really don't wanna have to move this over anymore because I have a plug here and I really wanna keep that there. If it becomes an issue, I can move it, but I wanna keep it there. Plus I need a gap here so I can open this drawer. And then also, I don't want to take up too much space on my husband's side of the bed because right now he just, he had more room over here. But now because I slid the bed over and moved the TV stand over, he's losing less space. But he honestly said he didn't mind because he doesn't really do anything in here besides sleep. And he'll usually be in the living room or he'll, once we have our office set up, he'll be in the office space. So he's not worried about having a space in here necessarily. So it's okay, I'm j but I do want to leave him some room so he's not, it's not tight right here. <laughs> I've been on top for a while. Now it's time to the moon. Fast car make it going boom, boom. Take it to the boom, boom, boom. I'm a visionary. I got the niggas scared. Mm -hmm. Bought a big patty with a brand new wrist set. Mm -hmm. Inside a new Maybach coupe in the butter jelly. Mm -hmm. I'm sliding in the road, sliding in the lemon, sliding in the bin. Been working on my confidence and respect. I get a lot of it. I don't ever mean to contradict. If it's up, then it's up with us. Tryna pour another cup with us. See my brother sitting mud with me. My bitch is a ten, my dad in the wind, I fucked in the wind. My car just caught another body, now he's popping ten is a key. Caught his slipping out the cold as hell. Sliding on the island and toe tag. Just in Miami, I was chilling with a soul at. In the Rose Race, I don't need a low jack. Keep the 45, I had to hold it. Gotta ride with it, cause I'm chosen. I just pulled up, won't let me land. Plus, that's what must have betted on the photo team. I remember wondering what I'm gonna eat. Pull up that Bentley with no key. I've been on top for a while. Last time, chip it to the moon. Last time, make one go. Nigga, just boom, boom, boom. I'm a visionary. I got the niggas scared. Mmm. Bought a big patty with the brand new wrist set. Mmm. Inside a new Maybach coupe in a butter jelly. Mmm. I'm sliding the road, sliding the lamp, sliding the bin. 
Been working on my confidence And respect, I get a lot of it I don't ever mean to contradict If it's up, then it's up with us My See me on my Niggas talk shit, but they never have a nose putting these drawers together and then I'm gonna put them away yeah and then I'm gonna reorganize like my makeup and figure out what's going in there because I have a bunch of stuff over here like I said before that needs to be put away so it's not like sitting out so yeah let me go ahead and do that and I'll be back So I've officially finished the drawers. I'm happy with it. I I had to reverse the top and the bottom because I accidentally switched them. So the two smaller drawers that are right here were actually on the bottom. So I had to flip the bottom, the top and the bottom and then put the drawers in. It was so annoying to do, but now it's all together. So this is like my little corner where I have my drawers and then I have the table and yeah, I'm exhausted. I'm tired because I went to the gym right before I started doing this and I still need to make dinner. So I think I'm gonna take a break here. I may organize a few things tonight. If not, I'll just do it tomorrow when I get off work. So I am gonna stop here for now. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog and I will see you all in my next one. Yo. I'm making a change today. The liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kind of like giving your fame.